music sort of runs in my veins as cheesy as that may sound i can listen to death metal or thrash metal with the same ear as i can listen to classical music my second year of college and i took up a part time job at jab magazine i used to do reviews of obscure albums that only four people apart from me had heard of i started going to all these idox and all these gigs and stuff and started getting no bands like zero and pin drop violence pentagram and so on so i was getting immersed into that scene a lot more i had made them out to be larger than life figures and i wanted to be associated with them in some way or the other Piracy has saved sort of the Indian alternative music scene because if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't know any of the bands that we know right now. Because of that, bands also started changing. You know, uh, their influences started changing. Once that sort of change started happening, the self-awareness in the scene started growing, and all our Indian bands didn't sound like budget versions of international bands. I can't help you. No, I, I can't Along with that, the media didn't really change. and that is something i wanted to change and that's why i started indecision.com it was just a blog format very it was very raw it was like an early nirvana album you could hear the distortion of the guitar you see that in the site you could see that it wasn't a perfect thing but because the opinion was astute it sort of grew from that we would be very honest about the fact that bands suck Net 7.in at the time was intended primarily to be this platform that people could discover new music on. We wanted to give people an opportunity to discover all this wide depth of music that India has, and also learn about new acts that are breaking internationally. First edition of the Weekender happened in 2010. The music festival itself is bigger than the artists that are performing at it. experience of being there with tens of thousands of people and singing along those songs to your favorite bands we wanted to create something that was similar to the international music festival experience a lot of people expect that because a band is from india it needs to have a sitar in it or it needs to have some sort of indian flavor curry flavor so to speak and that's what's happening you know people are realizing that indian bands don't need to have a tabla in it they don't need to have a sitar in it they can be metal acts and they can still be unique in it that is a phenomenal thing that's happened in the scene so far music journalism in general is becoming a niche only now in 2012 there's a lot of work to be done the way this is growing is really exciting you know every day when i wake up i don't feel shitty about going to work i wake up and i want to go to office and every day that excites me i suppose till the time it stops exciting me which means music stops exciting me which is really scary as a thought if i wouldn't be doing this i would be in a terrible band